It's vital to handle the book correctly when you're taking it from the shelf. Common causes of damage occur when people are tempted to just hook a book um, off the shelf like this, and this will lead to spine and board damage. The best way to take a book off the shelf is to push the two books either side of it away from you, and then you can just tip the book towards you like so. Books are mechanical objects with lots of moving parts. It can be useful to understand some of the different methods of book construction when learning about how to best handle books without causing damage. Most books are not designed to open flat and so should be supported during use. One of the best ways to provide support for books during use is by using a Clarkson book support system. The individual pieces can be used in various combinations to build a support for all types of bindings. It is useful to have such a flexible system in order to accommodate different book structures and conditions. Use the book supports in a way that suits the book and not the other way around. Adjusting the different components or adding more as needed. In this type of book, the spine is adhered directly to the text block. The cover and text block move together when the book is opened and they form a V-shape. Over time, this can lead to damage and splitting of the spine. The best way to support this volume is to use the two central wedges of the Clarkson book support, providing support at the board joints. The joints should be in line with the edge of the wedges and the entire surface of the board should be supported. You can also use the central spine piece if necessary to support the V-shaped opening of the spine. A hollow back binding means that a hollow has been added to the spine. This creates space between the text block and the cover in order to protect the covering material and avoid it being cracked by the V-shaped movement of the text block. The best way to support this volume is to use the central part of the book support, ensuring support for the board joints. By creating space between the two central wedges, the book is supported and the spine is able to open freely. Because the opening can be tight and the pages want to spring closed again, you may need to use weights to keep the pages in place. In this type of binding, the cover and the text block are created separately and then adhere together. There is no sewing or mechanical structures holding the text block and cover together. The best way to support this volume, like the hollow back, is to support the boards and allow enough space for the spine to open freely. These volumes tend to open quite flat, so there is no need to use a central spine piece and you will probably not need to use weights to keep the pages in place. Book cushions and sofas are a good alternative to the Clarkson book support system. Always create a central dent in the cushion in order to support the spine and remember, never open a book more than it allows you to.